children in this video we are going to see the chapter 2 in IT applications the chapter name is Excel in Excel 2013 in this lesson we are going to learn about structure of Excel 2013 backstage view Excel view and processing numbers okay now this Excel is a spreadsheet program okay now I will tell you how you should open the Excel first step click on the start button then second step click on all programs third step click on Microsoft Office 2013 folder then fourth step click on Excel 2013 okay now this is your Excel start screen now click on the blank workbook okay this is the blank workbook here this is a spreadsheet okay so this spreadsheet is a document that stores data in rows and columns rows in a spreadsheet are labeled with the numbers 1 2 3 see here this is the rows it is labeled with the number 1 2 3 column in the spreadsheet are labeled with alphabets A, B, C see here this is the column this labeled with A, B, C each column and row the intersection forms a cell ok each column and row the intersection forms a cell this is one cell this is one cell this is one cell like that here the cell name or address of the cell is formed by its corresponding column name and Roll number, sorry, row number. Okay, see here now this is the Excel sheet. Here, the first one is the name box. See here, this is the name box. Now, when I place the cell here, then it will show the name C4. Now I place here, see here, E2. Okay, what is this name? Name box. Next one, formula bar. This is the formula bar. Here you can enter data and also you can enter formulas. Here you can edit data and formula. Okay. Next one, column. See here, this is column. Here a column is a vertical group of cells. Vertical means from the top to bottom. Here the column is represented by the letter I already told. For example here the column E is selected now. Right. Next one. Rows. This is a row. Rows are horizontal group of cells. Here the row in Excel are identified by numbers. Here, for example, now row 7 is selected. So, this is the worksheet, sheet 1. Okay, so this worksheet is also called spreadsheet. It contains cells. Okay, by default, sheet 1 will appear. If you want extra worksheet, just click on this plus symbol. Then, sheet 2 will add like that. Okay, now, here this is the cell I told you now. The each cell is the intersection of row and column. So all the rectangle boxes in the workbook are called cells. In this example, now C3 is selected. Okay, to select a cell, simply click on the cell. That is enough. Okay. So these are the information about Excel. Okay. Thank you children.